Hey, welcome back. And it is time for another pickup video. And as I've been doing lately, I've been asking questions in my pickup videos and kind of gauging responses. So, the last question I asked was, do you count digital downloads in your video game collection? And I personally don't. Uh, the main reason being is that I like physical releases, and that seems to be the majority of everyone else as well. I was expecting at least one person to tell me, yes, I do count them in the collection, but I didn't get one response that said they did. So, anyways, if you do, leave a comment below or even on the last video. There was one person, uh, DG13, I think that's how you pronounce it, he said, you know, he doesn't count it in his collection, but he would kind of consider doing a separate spreadsheet for digital downloads, which is definitely a good idea because I know I have a lot of digital downloads, you know, on the PS3, PS4, uh, N64, not N64, uh, Nintendo Wii, um, 3DS, Vita, pretty much every single system I have some kind of digital download on. Modern system, not ancient system like the N64. So, anyways, like I said, I'll leave a link down to his channel down below. Check him out and see if he's for you. Now, on to this week's question. Do you ever replay games? And if you do, what games do you play and why? And this was kind of a recent question that came up uh, as far as your top three go-to games. It's very similar. So if you didn't get tagged in this video, put a comment down below. And I'd love to see your response. If you missed my response, my go-to game and the one I play the most, replay the most, is Commandos Behind Enemy Lines. I play this at least once a year, and I absolutely love it. Um, start to finish, love this game. So, this is my uh, game that I replay quite often. So anyways, let's get into the pickups portion of the video. And I got quite a bit of pickups to show you, so let's get straight into it. First off, the source was having one of those blowout sales again. And they do this, you know, maybe three, four times a year, where they reduce drastically the games that they have and just clear them out. So I did find two games. Uh, I went to Collingwood to visit my parents and I dropped in at the source and I didn't know exactly what was on sale. They didn't have any tags up, so I just kind of guessed and I came up with uh, two games. First one here is the Hitman HD Trilogy. And for me, we talked about this before, you know, is it worth getting rid of, you know, the PS2 versions and updating to the HD remakes? And again, a lot of people are saying, yes, do it. So, I purchased this, and I got this for five bucks. So, not a bad deal. Next up, the God of War Saga. And again, exact same reason as before, I can get rid of the PS2 versions, get it on one disc, and save me some room on the shelf. Uh, this was 15 bucks, by the way. Next up, at one of the local pawn stores, I picked up, if you can maybe see that, Saber Wolf on the Game Boy Advance. I haven't picked up one of these in a long time, so. Um, I saw this was on the Rare Replay, and I haven't had a chance to try it out, but it's one of the Rare games, so I got this for five bucks and no tax. Next up, I went to a Goodwill, and I'm trying to remember what I paid for these. I think these were $2.50 a piece. Uh, all original Xbox games except one, and it was on like their half off day, so they're regular five bucks, two fifty afterwards. First up is Ultimate Spider-Man, and this, it's been so long since I picked these up. These are, I believe, all complete, so this one's complete. Next up is Legacy of Kane Blood Omen 2. And complete. Next up is Legacy of Kane Defiance. As you complete. Game I actually never heard of. Um, I kind of looked up the, the value of it and just kind of see if it was worth picking it up because, again, I had never heard of this game, but I was thinking initially, okay, maybe to resell it, but. After kind of checking out some gameplay, I think I'm going to actually keep this game. It's uh, Bloody Roar Extreme. And I believe this is an Xbox exclusive, even though it doesn't say on the top. Again, complete. 
Another game I was kind of iffy against was uh, X-Men Next Dimension. And, I mean, for $2.50, I might as well give it a shot. This is a, a fighting game like uh, Bloody War is. Bloody Roar is. And I know there's a lot of really good fighting games that, you know, Capcom has put out. This is actually done by Activision, so... Anyways, that's complete as well. Whoever traded these in must be a, a, a big fighter fan because uh, I found another one. It's this. What is this? This is Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Complete. I actually I didn't think I had this, but I looked in my kind of spreadsheet that I keep, and I do. So it's kind of an extra for me. Next up, another game I'm kind of really excited to find because I don't even have this on the PS2, and I was kind of debating on getting on the PS2 or Xbox. I know a lot of people say, pick it up on the Xbox. It's Castlevania Curse of Dark... Curse of Darkness. There's a PS2 version. Um, it's another uh, game... Castlevania game that is... basically comes out on the PS2, and I believe it's on the Xbox as well. I can't remember the name offhand, so that's why I'm kind of getting confused with this. But again, complete. And last but not least, I... I always pick this up and I always think I need this one. It's always a third one I need. I'm trying to upgrade from uh, red label to black label for the PS2. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai. So this is an extra for me as well. And it's complete. Um, again, I kind of messed up there. I thought, it, I thought I always think this is the one I need every time I see it. And it's, it's the third one I need. Anyways, next up. At a... I think this was out of Value Village. I picked up... Uh, Sonic Rivals on the PSP. Something I've actually been kind of looking for uh, since the PSP was dying down in uh, GameStop and I had a buddy of mine tell me it's, it's not that great and it looked interesting enough to pick up so this was five bucks and again complete. Next up at a Tulis. Um, it's actually two things, uh, three things I picked up at Tulis. I went to the um, Right when you walk into the tweezers, there's a glass case, and I kind of checked that out right away, and before going to where I guess they keep the main games, and I found two N64 games there, they were five bucks a piece. First off it is GoldenEye, six, GoldenEye 007, and next up is Mario Kart 64, which I know is a lot on a lot of people's list of uh, go-to games. I've seen a lot of people put this on their list. I, I have this already, but these are both extras for me. Uh, I went over to where the actual real games were, and I know that the person who was putting out the games mentioned to someone else that, oh, I just put some N64 games in the case over there. So he went running over there, and he came back, and he was kind of discouraged and said, oh, someone grabbed them already. Well, that someone was me, and again, I got them here. <laughs> so, anyways, I went through the rest of the cases, uh, shelf that they had there, and I found one game that I kind of was interested in trying. It's Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga and as usual this is five bucks as well. So, complete. Alright, last but not least I went out with a friend to kind of do some game, you know, hang out, get, you know, and do some game hunting. We went to a Goodwill where they did, um, they still do that if you spend thirty dollars or more they'll knock off half the price. Well he found thirty bucks worth of stuff and I kind of found this sitting there while he was standing in line. So I said, hey, toss this in with yours and I get half off. So it's a Mario Kart Wii and the price on it is 606. I got half off it, so I paid three bucks. And this one, unfortunately, is missing the manual, but this is okay. So anyways, those are the pickups of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. And until next time, take care.